Many evacuees from Larimer County now in Fort Collins, many escaping the damaging wall of water down the Big Thompson River, others from the Poudre River. Lindsay Sablon live in Fort Collins tonight hearing remarkable stories of survival. And Mike, every single person who walks through these doors really has an amazing story to tell. But one man I spoke with tonight really painted the picture of what they are dealing with in the Big Thompson Canyon. Dan Wagner was airlifted out yesterday. He shares his story of being trapped in the canyon for two days. The structure went and just crumbled in a matter of seconds. A constant thundering of, of huge, huge rocks just... <laughs> all night long. That, that we this video from Larimer County Sheriff's shows the damage Dan Wagner describes as the Big Thompson ripped through the town of Drake Thursday. Have you had time to digest everything that you saw? No, not at all. And I'm worried I'll forget a bunch of it too because it was quite an experience. You Get emotional now. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's the relationships was the biggest thing. It was a joy to be with people through a catastrophe. Neighbors and volunteer firefighters rallied together as the river isolated them from the rest of the world. At least three quarters of a mile, there's no road. It's the way the canyon was sometime, but all you see is rock. With no roads and the Thompson creating a new course, they worked to preserve what little road they could. We diverted it back with truck tires, anything we could find that would Diverted. Saturday, Chinooks could be seen from Fort Collins. Wagner and his two dogs were on one of those. Despite all the loss, he still has a sense of humor. I do know one thing, a couple guys that stayed up there are both smokers and there's no cigarettes left up there. They're going crazy. <laughs> you know, they got generators. And as Wagner was being airlifted out on Saturday, his home was still standing. He says he's keeping hope, but it will be a miracle if it's there when he returns. A lot of questions tonight at these meetings about if there's going to be assistance from FEMA for individuals. We just got an email from FEMA saying going to disasterassistance.gov and you can apply for assistance there. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.